Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If we haven't even met before, my name is Shiv Hello. If you're coming back, then welcome. In today's video, I have a da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da, Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 3 Looks 1 Palette. Yes, you heard it right. I have never done a 3 Looks 1 Palette video because I was like, how am I going to have the time? And truth be told, I have missed a few video uploads because of this video. So I really hope that you enjoy it. I really wanted to like dive in because there's just so many looks that you can come up with using this palette. I was like, one tutorial was just just not gonna cut it so I really want to do a few but I wanted to put it all in one video just because so you can see kind of how versatile the palette is and like how many different kind of looks you can come up with I'm sure there's still many of looks that I haven't created and there's still a few shades that I haven't touched but I feel like I really got kind of in depth with it and had a decent play with it to give you my thoughts and opinions so stay tuned for that if you would like to see how to create this makeup look wait till a little bit later in the video because this is actually the last look that I create don't forget to follow me on TikTok and Instagram I'd really appreciate it. I'm making content very frequently over there on those channels. If you do enjoy this video or just like makeup in general, please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell to be alerted when I upload new videos. Algorithm tends to hide my videos. So my washing machine was going at four miles per hour, so I don't remember what I said in my outro. So basically, like, subscribe, enjoy the video, and let's just carry on to show you what I think of this palette. And there we go. Enjoy the video, guys. So I'll be honest, I've been staring at this palette for a while. I'm going to be doing three looks with this palette, as you can tell from the title. And for my first look, I want to do something a little bit bright. And I want to use the purple, and I've been like planning in my head of like what colours to use, but I'm not really too sure. But I feel like I want to use like the yellow and some of the purple shades for my first look. Also, I got my nails done. What do we think? Gone for an interesting kind of vibe. So I'm going to start off by taking this shade right here, which is called No Joke. Also, can we just say we much prefer the shade names on the palette at Morphe so please do this for all your future releases thank you <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna take this shade here which is the bright yellow in the palette called no joke and I'm gonna take it on this fluffy blending brush also from Morphe this is from one of their brush sets I don't actually know what brush this is it doesn't have a name on it but it's just like a fluffy blending brush kind of like a normal size I've already primed the lids I don't know if you can tell using the P Louise base in rumor number two which has now completely dried but I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade no joke and what I will do in this video is give all of my thoughts more also at the end of the three looks otherwise this video is going to be so long so i'm just taking the shade no joke which is that yellow i've not got a mirror ready organization at its finest okay so what i'm gonna go ahead and do is do more of like a halo -y eye kind of vibe so i'm gonna take this and just kind of buff this in like the inner kind of section of the eye and try not to bring it too far inwards i don't actually know how this is going to turn out i actually have no idea like no idea. <laughs> All the gear and no idea. So I'm just blending that through the inner corner. And then I'm going to follow through and do that on the kind of like outer corner. And I'm going to try and make it in more of a rounder shape this time. Because I want to do more of like a halo spotlight eye. But we don't know how this is going to turn out. I'm just kind of playing with the colours. Now I'm going to switch to this shade here, which is called Tipsy Girl, which is the basically neon Barbie pink in the palette. So I'm going to take it on a MAC 217. And I'm just going to use this on kind of the same place we put the yellow, but I'm just going to put it a little bit deeper. Oh, that is nice mixed with the yellow straight away. I knew it would make like kind of like a peachy colour. So again, I'm just blending that into the corner. I'm trying to leave this place kind of blank, but it's a little bit difficult because naturally I kind of want to blend all the way through the crease. And I have kind of taken a little bit too far across but that's fine i'm gonna take it all the way across <laughs> do you see how quick i change my mind when it comes to my makeup so i'm taking that all the way through the crease but still keeping that round shape do you see how it's gone like the barbie pink in the middle of this kind of blend and then more peachy where it's on top of the yellow it's a good little tip if you're kind of playing with shadows obviously just bear in mind that like, when you do layer them they will go a slightly different color um, but i like this vibe this is very bright already I'm just gonna quickly switch back to the yellow and just blend that on top because now I've changed my mind of what I wanna do. So I'm just gonna blend that on top of this shade here. Just use that to kind of feather it out. Love the pigment already. I will just say that straight off the bat. I'm 
now I'm going to take this shade right here, which is called Therapy Sesh, which is a really beautiful, like, mid-toned purple, I would say. So I'm going to take that and use this to further deepen, like, the crease. I am going to focus it on the inner and outer corners to start off with see how that goes. I'm taking it on a skinny pencil brush. This one is from E Show, but it does have a little bit of movement to it. So I'm just starting by focusing that. It's a lot lighter when you do apply it actually, but I don't know if that's because a mixture of the pink, but I'm just kind of applying that to the inner corner of the crease and just kind of feathering that in. Okay, I'm just going to take it the whole way through the crease because the halo eye is gone. Maybe for another look. Then I'm taking Tipsy Girl again. I'm just gonna apply another layer of this in between the purple shade and the yellow shade. This is so beautiful. I'm trying to be quite light-handed with like the brush. So I'm being very light just to kind of give a nice all over sun all over all over sunset blend. It's a really nice yellow actually. It's not too chalky. I like. Hmm. I kind of feel like I want to deepen the crease a little bit. So I'm going to take a more, a shade that has a very subtle shimmer in it. But I feel like when you blend it, it will kind of disappear. Um, so this one is called Stay True, which does have a few flecks of shimmer. But I feel like it will be fine once you blend it. So I'm going to take that and use it to deepen the crease. I'm taking it on another Morphe brush. It's a really skinny blending brush. Okay, I feel like that's helped to deepen it up a little bit. I'm now just gonna go through a process that I like to do when I blend, which is just kind of go back up and down through the color just to re-intensify things. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut the crease using the P. Louise base. I'm gonna do it in a semi-circle kind of shape. This video is more on the actual palette rather than tutorial. Um, you can see what I'm doing, but I'm essentially just going to follow my natural socket line in a semi-circle and then pat the P. Louise base in, just on a flat synthetic concealer brush. So I said I wanted to use more of the purple, so I'm going to stick to my guns. I'm going to take the shade Good Place, which is the darkest shimmery purple right here, really beautiful. And I am going to pop that on the inner and the outer corner, kind of in like a diagonal kind of shape, using a MAC 242 brush. I haven't wet my brush with any fixing spray, just to let you know. really pretty. Morphe do purples really well though. I love their 35P palette and I love all the purple like shades I've used from Morphe palettes. Really shimmery. You can kind of see it. Um, I have put it in a small section. I'm going to put it on the outer section now. Trying to be as neat as possible with this cut crease. Now I'm going to take the shade a moment, which is right here. This is a purple with a little bit of pink in it actually, and this is also a shimmer. I'm gonna pop it directly next to the darker purple. I'm gonna leave a teeny little bit in the middle free of product. I kind of wish that I had some shorter brushes because <laughs> I keep like, when I hold my mirror, I, I tend to like stab the product. Why did I do it on purpose? But I keep trying to like stab my bronzer or the compact. I just like to hold a mirror like up here when I do my eye makeup. Oh, those two together, absolutely gorge. And then I'm gonna take this shade here, which is called Talia. I haven't watched her reveal video just because I've been so freaking busy. I do wish she did a tutorial because as far as I'm aware, she hasn't done a like full on tutorial with it. But I assume the shade Talia is in memory of Talia. If you've been on YouTube for a while, she was a really sweet girl um, that had really severe cancer. She's sadly in heaven now. I have a feeling that shade is named after her. Could be completely wrong. Don't get me wrong. Um, I just have a feeling that's my 
might be what that shade is called. But regardless of what the shade name is about, I'm going to take this shade here, which is a beautiful, really bright yellowy gold. I'm going to swatch it actually for you because I haven't even swatched the palette. I was going to do a blog post on this palette, um, but I really, really wanted to get stuck in. I still might just with my general thoughts, but it probably just won't look as aesthetically pleasing because I've already swatched it. But that shade looks gorgeous. It feels super velvety, proper coin shade, but I'm going to pop that right down that halo eye. I think that would look really pretty. On the back of my hand it looks stunning. Let's see how it performs with a brush. I know a lot of these kind of shades really do perform better with your fingers. That's just not really my kind of style. I like to do things with brushes. So we'll see. I'm not going to wet my brush. I'm just going to go straight into the shadow. I'm not picking up a lot of pigment on my brush. This is a BH Cosmetics number nine brush. Work that into the shadow. I've just been rambling on for like two minutes and I don't even know if I was recording. Basically I was saying I don't know what kind of texture of shadow this is. It feels very metallic to me but I'm trying to load up my brush here. And I'm just going to tilt my brush sideways. Um, oh yeah okay that's kind of what I wanted just sunset vibes take the right down the pupil kind of line of the eye which you're just kind of tapping that on oh that's really pretty like up close stunning okay this is performing a lot better than a lot of glittery eyeshadows that I've tried recently so I'm very impressed I'm going to tap a little bit towards the top of the eye at the top of the cut crease when you get a speck of glitter like just above a really sharp crease line. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the lower lash line so I'm going to start off with the shade Stay True which is like the burgundy purple on the smaller brush I'm just going to kind of blend that on the inner corner just like on the tear duct area. I will blend this out because it looks a little bit of a contrast at the moment just more of like that base kind of shade I'm just kind of running that under there and my lower lash line doesn't have any primer on it so you can see how pigmented the shadows are then i'm taking that shade therapy sash and i'm just going directly on top of that to blend it out and then i'm taking tipsy girl which is the neon pink i'm going to use that to kind of like blend this out a little bit I'm then taking No Joke, which is the yellow, and I'm just going to blend underneath the pink a little bit. I will fix this once I've done like foundation and concealer later. I'm going to take that really pretty Talia glitter and just kind of tap that underneath very subtly, just so it looks like it's dripping down. I am going to pop a black line just across the lash line. I am not doing a wing. That will ruin this kind of a look. This is the Revolution Renaissance Flip Liner Pen. I absolutely love this line. It's so nice. Give it a shake. And I'm just going to draw a line across the lash line just because the lashes are quite big. So I want something to like blend into. Now I'm just going to curl my lashes. Definitely should have waited for my line to dry first. Now I'm going to put on some mascara. This is the Bella Pia Pompous Lash Mascara. Now I'm going to go ahead and pop on my lashes and I will come back to show you the final look. I am not going to be like showing you doing my face, blush, lips, anything like that because this tutorial, this video is going to be so long otherwise. It's just three looks one palette so I will be right back to show you the finished look but I will include everything that I used on my face and everything like that in the description box below so if you are interested check the description box out I will list everything that I have used so I'll be back in one second with a finished look so I am back a little while later it's taken me so long to film this video and um, this is look number one and how it turned out absolutely obsessed it's not going to be on my face for very long because i'm filming a look two straight after this but this is the first look i shall zoom you in so this is look number one super pretty as well absolutely love it let's move on to look number two okay so look number two coming up i want to recreate her really red smoky eye from the campaign shoot i feel like it's just a very me look there's a lot of red smoky eyes here on my channel so as you can see i've already got my base on my brows concealer that kind of thing i'm just going to pop a little bit of translucent powder under the eyes to catch any fallout this is the nude by nature translucent finishing powder like a large amount of that and just kind of 
press that under the eyes just so if any fallout does occur we can catch it but the reason i want to do my eyes f my face kind of first is because some of the eyeshadow kind of goes out onto like the cheeks a little bit and i feel like i don't want a sharp edge i want it to be really blown out so that's what we're doing also i noticed when i did the look yesterday i actually noticed that um there wasn't even a lot of fallout so i feel like i'll be fine but precautions are better than none i'm just gonna pop some on my chin as well just for good measure da -da -da -da, powder everywhere so i've already got my p louise base on now i'm going to jump straight into the palette i'm going to start off by taking the shade certified which is this color here kind of like a bone color it's matte and i'm going to use that to set the lid and i'm taking it on a so ava 227 luxe soft definer brush just popping that all over the lid just as a nice kind of base because the red shadows I don't want to cling I want them to blend really nicely Then I'm going to switch to a Morphe M513 brush and I'm going to take this kind of pinky red colour called Heart On which is right here and I'm going to blend it into the upper crease area I'm going to blow this look out quite a lot and kind of wing it out that's pigmented okay let's just tap that off a little bit oh my jesus christ that must be one of the pressed pigment shades because this is stunning are they pressed pigments in this i think there are oh my god look at that that is that's insane so i'm just kind of winging that out a little bit i'm just gonna blend it back and forth through the crease to kind of smooth it in there and then what's left i will just kind of wing out That is a good red, definitely pinky red, but a good red. Definitely gonna stain your eyelids, but I don't really mind. Actually can't get over this shade, that is amazing. I'm in love with this palette. <laughs> Sorry to ruin the kind of review video, but let's just guess that I'm in love with this palette already. Next, I am going to take this shade right here, which is called Living My Best, on a Primark 230 blending brush, and I'm going to further deepen this kind of creasy motion that we have going on. Um, so I am just going to wing it out as well. It does look like it has a little bit of sparkle in it, but I feel like it will be fine with the kind of look that I'm going with because I'm not cutting the crease or anything like that. just like that pigment is insane i was not expecting that i'll be honest like i knew i was gonna love this palette but i didn't realize how strong that pigment was gonna be now i'm gonna dip into this shade right here which is called crazy which is like a burgundy purpley red kind of color and i'm gonna take it on a sigma e25 tapered blending brush and go further and further into this crease bringing it right into that inner corner just to add that real depth of this smoky eye And then I'm just going to start bringing it back in towards the eye and kind of fitting in that little empty triangle kind of section. I am now actually going to switch to a MAC 239 flat shader brush and I am going to take this shade here which is called Oh Hello, it's like almost like a base for the shimmery shadow. So I'm going to take this shade right here and just pack it all across the lid. So stunning, so, so stunning. And then I'm also gonna take that under the lower lash line. Then I'm gonna go into this really beautiful shimmery burgundy pink colour called Empowered. I am gonna spritz a flat shader brush, a little bit of setting spray, hopefully to make it more metallic, and I'm gonna pack that all across the lid. Oh, it's so pretty. 
this is absolutely stunning like this pigment wow and obviously you could make this so much more wearable if you wanted to you don't have to do it as big and as out there as I have done. I'm just kind of playing with the palette, having a little bit of fun. Then she almost has like a smoky liner with a shadow from what I can tell from the pictures. I know lipstick Nick did her makeup and she always slays any of these campaign shoots. But I am going to take the shade Temptress, which is this black colour here that does have some glitter in it, but I think it will work absolutely fine. I'm going to take it on an angle brush, also from Morphe, and I'm going to draw a kind of line up and then bring it down and then I'm going to take a little brush and kind of smudge it out. So hopefully this works out. This is where I think I'll get most of the fallout from but I do have the powder underneath my eyes starting by kind of like pressing that into the lash line this is a really good black very pigmented. I'm then going to switch to a little fluffy brush. This is also from Morphe. This is M506 brush. I'm just going to take a teeny little bit of that crazy shade, which is that dark kind of burgundy red. I'm tapping off the excess and then I'm just going to go on top of this liner to smudge it out. So if I need to apply the shimmery shade, then I will do. And I have a little bit of fallout under my eyes now, so I will knock that off afterwards. It's kind of smudging in this kind of black faux liner, if you will. I look very vampire-y right now, and I'm kind of into it. Just reapplying a little bit of the shimmery shade on top, just kind of tapping that in. Super smoky. Okay, so now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just take some of the shades that we used earlier and just kind of re-blend. So I'm taking the shade Certified, which is the matte kind of creamy white, and I'm just going to blend over the top of this look. I'm glad that I haven't taken this right to the brow bone this time. And I'm just gonna kind of blend out the edges as much as I can, fusing them. And then I'll take the brush that had the heart on, that kind of pinky red. I'm not actually taking any more product, but I'm just using this brush to blend the look out further, just really making sure it's as seamless as I can possibly get it. And don't worry, we will fix like the lower lash line and everything after. And this is definitely a look that will look better with lashes, but I do absolutely love it like up close. It's nice. And then the brush which had Live In My Best, which is the red with a little bit of shimmer. I'm just going to blend this under the lower lash line as well, trying to diffuse this colour a little bit. That is it for the shadows for the time being. I'm just going to quickly knock off this powder and see if I can get rid of the fallout. Kind of got a little bit of black shadow on my nose, it's not going away. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this look off and I'll be right back to show you the finished look. Okay, this is look number two. I've just finished off my makeup, touched it up a little bit, and here we go. I actually think this is my favourite look so far. I'm doing a soft glam look next, sneak peek, just because I want to do a little bit something wearable with the palette. But this is what I came up with. It's completely inspired slash copying the lipstick NYX look on Jaclyn Hill for her campaign shoot. I do love a red smoky eye. My hair is doing my absolute head in. I curled my hair with straighteners yesterday and it's like curled like inwards so it keeps like attacking my face. It's really annoying. But yeah, this is the final look. I shall zoom you in. So this is look number two. Super vampy, red, kind of blown out, smoky eye. Absolutely love it. I hope you like this look. I had so much fun with the red shadows. I think they performed absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautifully is what I meant to say. But yeah, we shall now move on to the final look. Okay, so as you can tell, I have all of my face on bar the eyes just because I wanted to do a really quick soft glam look for the last look of this video. So I've done base, brows, eyeshadow base, lips, everything. So now we're just gonna dive straight into the shadow. And the first shade that I will be taking is this shade here, which is called Love Handles. There are a lot of similar kind of transition shades in the palette, slightly different tones, but I'm gonna take this one here. It's kind of like a peachy brown. It's quite unique actually. I'm taking it on a Sigma E40 brush. I'm going to blend that through the crease. And this look is definitely going to be something that you can just chuck on every day, soft glam, wearable kind of vibes. So I'm just going to blend that through the crease, just going to build up the colour. The base is the P. Louise base as always, um, which has dried down completely, almost completely, that's what I meant to say. So I'm just blending that 
through the crease. This is literally gonna be like a 15 minute eye look. Not long at all. Just go backwards and forwards, and then a little circular motions to kind of blend it outwards. This is gonna be like the lightest transition shade. And then I'm also gonna run that under the lower lash line a little bit. Don't forget with anything that's on my face that's not the palette I will have completely listed in the description box below so definitely go ahead and check that out if you are interested to what I have on my face. I feel like the trick with soft glam is just to keep blending like the more blended the better. Then I'm gonna go over to the right hand side of the palette and take this kind of mauvey kind of shade, warm brown, I don't really, don't really know how to describe it. I don't know how he would like, like you can see that they're different tones when it comes to like these kind of transition shades, but like I don't know how on paper you would describe them differently. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna take this shade here, which is called Thick Skin on a Primark 230 blending brush. I'm running out of brushes because I filmed these videos all back to back, so I didn't have time to wash my brushes. So I'm taking my Primark to 30 blending brush. I'm going to dip into thick skin and pop it further into the crease. And then on the outer corner, I like to do kind of little, little wiggling motions just to kind of really blur that out. And of course, under the lower lash line as well. I don't want it too smoky under the lower lash line, I just want it to be like balanced so I don't have all of the shadow on it like the upper half of my eye. And then with each step, I'm gonna go back to the brush I used previously and just go over it with no extra product added just to really diffuse this out. I've already got the palette dirty. I like blew off the um, fallout from the palette on this shade and it like blew onto this and it's kind of like marked now. But at least the outside of the packaging has that nice glossy finish, so that's good. Okay, so the next shade that I'm gonna take is called Homebody, which as I can kind of tell, is like the darkest warmish brown because G Money actually looks quite cool toned to me. But I am gonna take this shade right here called Homebody, which is right here on a Morphe M. Um, 562 brush. I would have liked to use a little bit of a bigger brush personally, but I'm running out of brushes. <laughs> so we're just making do. With this shade, I'm literally just going to kind of like tap it on the outer corner to start off with and then just kind of like blend it into the crease pulling through, just adding a few kind of different tones to add some dimension up on my eyeball. So far so good with the fallout, which I'm very impressed with. And then a little bit on the outer corner of the lower lash line as well. Now we're going to do something a little crazy and go in with a matte highlight. So I'm going to take the shade Certified, which is the bone kind of colour here. The shade I'm in it actually has a little bit of a pink reflect, which won't really go with this look. So I'm just going to use a matte highlight for this soft glam look. I'm going to pop it on my brow bone and the inner corner. And I'm taking it on a Sigma E32 Exact Blend Brush. didn't purchase my ticket to the Formula One, but I've got ringside seats apparently. This is actually really subtle, but I feel like it just makes the makeup look so much more polished. And I'm just popping that in the inner corner as well. Yeah, I like that. I feel like that's really opened up the eyes. Then just taking the really big blending brush, the Sigma E40, and I'm just going to blend where the brow bone highlight is, just to kind of make sure there's not like a stark line. Just a soft diffusion. I don't even know if that's a word. Is that a word? I think it's a word. It sounds like a word. Therefore, it is a word. <laughs> 
I don't know. I'm wearing a lip gloss and I'm really conscious that every second I'm going to have lipstick on my teeth. So if I do at some point, I do apologise. For the lid, I really want to take this beautiful shade called Get Ready With Me or GRWM, which is right here and it is super pretty it's bronze with some glitter in it but it doesn't look like a pressed glitter similar to talia it looks more like an eyeshadow kind of metallic -y kind of shade the shade um ride or diamonds is also appealing to me but i really want to take get ready with me just all across the lid so i'm going to take that i'm going to try without wetting my brush to start off with and if i want more intensity i will go ahead and wet my brush the brush that i'm using is the zoeva 234 luxe smoky shader brush which is very similar to mac 239 but half the price i was just it's a habit, don't wet the brush, don't wet the brush, don't wet the brush. Okay, we've got a decent amount of product on there. I'm tapping off the excess a little bit. I'm just, yep, yeah, gorgeous, even without wetting my brush. Okay, I'm just gonna pack that all across the lid. Oh, that is a stunning eyeshadow. Really, really pretty. Actually, just tapping that on. There's a tiny little bit of glitter fallout on my cheeks, but like nothing crazy at all. But to be honest, that is to be expected when there's kind of like very light particles of glitter in a shadow. Just taking that kind of to the top of the crease. This isn't a cut crease, it doesn't have to be sharp, just kind of very subtle. That is so pretty. I'm going to wet my brush just because I want a little bit more intensity, but I would be very happy just to leave it as that. That's stunning. That is it for the eyeshadows. I am going to quickly show you what I'm going to do to the eyes just because I did leave out most of this look. Now I'm going to skip liquid liner because I want this look to still be very soft but I do want something to it so I'm going to take Morphe's Trendsetter Eyeliner. It's a really warm toned brown I'm going to pop that in the waterline. It's really pretty actually. It makes my eyes look super green. I feel like if you have blue eyes this will really make it pop. Come on. Yeah. I'm just going to knock off that glitter that's gone under the eyes. It was so subtle, I actually forgot about it. Ow, ow, I just pinched my finger in the blusher thingy. Ow. Then I'm going to curl these lashes. And pop on some mascara. This is the L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara. Then to finish off the look, I'm going to pop on these lashes from Morphe. They are in the style of Melrose Avenue. I've worn these in the past and I really like them. And they're amongst like the more affordable range. I think these are like four or five pounds. But they're super long and fluttery and perfect for an everyday like soft glam kind of vibe. If you're into lashes, of course. If not, you could just leave the makeup look like this. Super wearable, but glam at the same time. So I'm going to pop these on. I'll be right back to show you the finished look. Okay, and this is the final look. A soft glam bronzy kind of vibe you could definitely even tone this down even further just take away the lashes add an even nude lip or take away a lip and lip balm all these looks are definitely like adaptable i don't know why that took me so long to think of a word but i do really like this look i'm not gonna lie i had a really big trouble with the lashes i've used the lashes before it's not the lashes it's this glue don't get this eyelash glue you guys this is the super drug lash glue and unless your lashes have been worn loads of times they've kind of like gone into shape this just takes so long to dry and then you can't really tell if it's dry because it doesn't go completely transparent and not a fan of this glue unless i absolutely have nothing else to use just as a little heads up but the lashes are amazing they're like so long but you can see through them so you can see the eyeshadow which is something that i really like when you're wearing looks like this but yeah this is the final look i'm going to zoom in and show you so this is the final look a soft glam kind of wearable vibe so that's the end of the video now i have finished the three makeup looks we started off by doing purple kind of pinky glam and then we went into like a deep red vampy blown out smoky eye and now we have this super soft and pretty everyday kind of glam look Look. so this palette is really versatile i'm just going to pick it up here which looks like this if you just want one other peek at it not that you haven't already seen it going around on social media
looking me like absolutely crazy but this is definitely my favorite one out of the two i am going to show you them side by side i know that you've also probably seen them held by side by side but here we go how can i do this okay so on my on your left don't move <laughs> um i can't remember if my camera flips me or not i think it's on your left so this palette here obviously is volume one and i didn't actually realize how cool toned of a palette it is until you hold it up to volume two because when i first looked at this palette i was like yeah there's a lot of cool tones it's like very everyday vibes but like i have got quite a lot of use out of this palette and it is something that i would reach for and then you obviously have volume two which are very different there's obviously going to be a few overlaps of shades like a few transitions not the exact shades of course but just like very similar tones but that is to be expected you can't like expect like a whole completely new palette like there's going to be a few transitions that are going to be similar because you need your kind of light browns and your darker brown kind of shades i do wish this shade had a really warm chocolatey brown shade that was really deep that was just a chocolate brown that would be quite nice there's two shades here i'm going to stop pointing with the other palettes so there's two shades here one called next and then one called crazy they are very very similar one is slightly next is slightly lighter and then crazy is slightly darker both gorgeous shades but i feel like maybe I get that it flows well together so I don't really know the placement of it like I'm not a makeup placement expert but maybe just swap one of them out I crazy is definitely my, my favorite but I feel like next is a little bit unnecessary so maybe get rid of that and have a dark chocolate brown in there and that for me would be an absolute complete palette like this is right up my street my favorite tones on my eyes are warm tones purples golds and I love the fact that there's like a bone color and like a shimmery pink for the inner corner which I didn't actually get around to using but I know I will do but I absolutely love this palette highly 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 recommend and it's a definitely you go out and get it if you haven't already i also have a morphe discount code which is glam fam 334 i mentioned that at the beginning of the video it gets you five dollars five pounds whatever your currency is off a purchase of ten pounds dollars etc off or more it's a one-time use code i don't earn any money off that code but i'm just part of the morphe glam fam so they can see that i'm promoting the code so if you do want to get some money off and you want more than like two or three pounds off then you've got the five dollars code to use so it's glam fam three three four so definitely go ahead and use that if you want to get some money off this palette everything will link down below but yeah i absolutely love this i think it's so stunning and like this shade here that get ready with me shade when i put it on the lid without like wetting my brush without like any sticky base and it looked beautiful just goes to show how gorgeous these shadows are such high quality and such good value for money this palette does retail for 39 pounds and i think that's definitely worth value for money i'm gonna get a lot of use out of this palette i already know that i am it's definitely gonna be like my go-to and also just in comparison I know Morphe have kind of like up their ante when it comes to like the packaging and stuff and they change a lot of their packaging but like this is the original palette here I know my exposure is really high so you can't see it very well sorry about the washing machine I'm feeling it's late at night I need to go cook dinner and it's all a bit of a palaver but this is the first Jaclyn Hill palette you've got the swirly Jaclyn Hill signature there the palette and then Morphe which is kind of down here if you can see that and on the back you have like pictures of like crushed up eyeshadow and then on the inside you do have a note from Jacqueline as well. It says this palette is dedicated to all of my loving subscriber, Exo Jacqueline, which when I first got it, I was like, oh my God, that's so sweet. And I like the font, but like compared to this one now, I can see like where they've really improved their game. So Jacqueline Hill is just all in capital letters. It kind of ties in the same kind of font with the Morphe, new Morphe logo, where it's just like all one size. And even on the inside, what I also like about it is the fact that this one does not have the shade names on it. They're on the back, which is super confusing and just a pain in the ass but this one has the shade names on the palette which we love okay why would you put the shade names on like a plastic sheet or on the back of the palette it just makes no sense so I always prefer palettes that have the shade names on the actual palette itself it's just so much easier and just makes it nicer because you're like oh what's this shade this one is feeling myself this one is get ready with me this one is empowered you know what I mean like it's just a nicer experience and even her little message at the front that says to all my loving subscribers who have supported me all these years this one's for you I have supported you for years, just saying. <laughs> but yeah, this palette definitely is absolutely beautiful. And even that font up there, like, just looks so much more professional and, like, more expensive for a Morphe palette. I do obviously know they up their prices when it comes to influencer collabs. They say it's down to, like, quality and everything. I'm sure it is. But either way, I'm going to buy it. So I'm not really that fussed at all. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. But yeah, I just want to say, like, a massive, like, oh my god, well done to Jacqueline Hill. And bless her, she has been through some 
drama for the past couple of years. I cannot even fathom like how stressful that must be, like releasing products and just not going right. So I feel like this has gone right. I haven't seen any drama about this floating on the internet, which is a good thing, which is a very good thing for Jaclyn Hill. So yeah, hats off to her. I think she's done a great job. I absolutely love that palette. And even though I do have a discount code to share with you, which I'm not being paid for, I'm not an affiliate of Morphe or anything like that. I'm part of their glam fam, but I don't get paid if that makes any sense. I would still share my honest opinions and every shade that I have used in three looks performed beautifully unless I have mentioned otherwise and I really can't remember it not performing that well. So yeah, absolutely. Should I just keep talking? Okay, I'm just gonna talk over the washing machine because I don't even know how many people make it this far through, through the video. So yeah, I definitely give this palette a really big thumbs up. Head to Morphe, check out the palette, check out my Instagram and my TikTok to see content uploaded using the palette and all makeup things on these platforms. I've been really loving TikTok lately, so definitely follow me on there, follow me on Instagram, you get the vibe. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. It means the absolute world. And if you are subscribed, please check that your notification bell is on that way you are notified when I upload a video because sometimes my videos kind of disappear into the algorithm that is YouTube so I'd really appreciate that but yeah I really hope you enjoyed watching this video if you do have any questions on the palette that I haven't answered please leave a comment in the description box below or tweet me or anything like that and I'll happily answer them for you if you want me to do like even another look with this palette let me know I mean I've used pretty much every kind of section of the palette I haven't did I use that yes I did hmm I've pretty much used kind of every main section of this look so I've used the pinks the reds the purples but if you do want me to do another look on the palette at some point in time let me know i could even make oh i maybe i could do a look with both palettes at the same time like mix and match them that would be quite cool if you have both if you're like a collector but yeah just let me know in the comments down below what kind of content you want to see from me i'd really appreciate it and it will help you guys actually get content that you want to see anyway enough of that rambly outro thank you so much for watching and i shall see you next time bye